Yesterday I spoke to attorney Eric Johnston. He says fantasy sports betting leads to all of the same worries and concerns that comes with gambling. Johnson says it's addictive, destructive, wastes a lot of money and destroys families. This is what it looks like when real people playing fantasy football win one million dollars. In our opinion, the daily fantasy sports is gambling. Much of the debate centers around the question, are daily fantasy games skill or luck based? The standard in Alabama for, for uh, gambling is if chance predominates skill, then it is gambling and it violates the Alabama Constitution. Johnston argues it's not a game of skill. He also debates that fantasy sports betting is more than just a simple game with family and friends. It's a multi-billion dollar business and adds, unlike lottery, it will not bring revenue to the state. Where it's millions of dollars, most of the money going out of the state, the state doesn't benefit from it. So citizens in the state will be sending their money out of state to more of a national or even international gambling syndicate or cartel. Johnston represents Alabama Citizens Action Program, or ALCAP, a faith-based organization that argues fantasy sports betting is a moral issue and should not be allowed more seductive because it's so easy and you can just go in your own home or in your own office and begin to do it. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it got the potential for addicts. The bill passed the House by just five votes. Ultimately, lawmakers decided the games don't fall under the state's anti-gambling regulations and now goes to the Senate for debate.